Hey there, welcome to the latest episode of the Sexy Thyroid Solution. I'm your host, Angela Brown. So today I want to talk all about common symptoms of hypothyroidism in women. But if you could do me a really big favor, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you could go ahead and subscribe to my channel and then hit that bell so you get a notification every single week when I release a new video. And then if you're watching this on my other social channels, um, share this with someone who would benefit from this information. So um, I want to talk about symptoms, the most common symptoms of hypothyroidism. Now, there is a very lengthy list um, when it comes to hypothyroidism, particularly in women. Um, unfortunately, um, I experienced almost all the symptoms I felt like many, many years ago um, when my thyroid was really a struggle. So I wanted to just go over some, some of the more common ones um, and maybe even a few that you haven't um, really connected either. So the first one that always comes up with every single woman that comes to me is weight gain um, or weight loss resistance. This is actually a super common one. Um, it's really common to see this um, in women, especially more so because there is such an interconnection with your sex hormones and your adrenals and your thyroid. And when they're all kind of off, um, when they're not really um, staying connected to each other um, and that interplay gets kind of messed up. It's really common for women to start having um, a lot of weight gain um, or they just cannot lose weight to save their life. They're doing everything they can and it's not coming off. So that is something that's super common um, when the thyroid is sluggish. Um, another one is fatigue. Um, now, I will tell you, um, fatigue um, in someone who's struggling with hypothyroidism is completely a different fatigue um, than what you're probably even thinking of. Um, and if you're going through hypothyroidism, I know you know exactly what I'm talking about. Thyroid fatigue and fatigue are two totally different things. Um, when you're thyroid tired, it is like you hit a brick wall um, and it could it can come on. Um, you can get up in the morning, go on your day, really struggle getting going and you just never never get going and you're completely exhausted the entire rest of the day and it's nap, nap after nap um, and you feel like you have to sleep all the time because you're just so exhausted but yet sleep doesn't even help. Um, that is what it definitely feels like um, with hypothyroidism. Um, Another one is anxiety and depression. This is actually very common and gets overlooked quite often. Um, I know when I went through it, my doctor just said, just go on antidepressants, anti-anxiety meds, um, and they'll take care of it. It was actually because my thyroid wasn't being addressed enough. Um, it's very common to see these um, with hypothyroidism and constipation. Anything with gut health, it's super common to see this. Constipation is a big one because um, when your thyroid is slow, it's your master gland. It controls a lot of things. So motility is going to slow down in the gut. So it's going to be really hard to poop. <laughs> I mean, constipation is super common with this. Um, and hair loss is a really big one. It's very, very often. Um, and that's a, another interconnection with all the sex hormones as well that adds to it, but hair loss is very common where you have really thinning hair or it's just coming out in clumps um, and feeling cold all the time. Your body temperature goes down. That's why a lot of women, um, like during the winter months, um, wherever they are, if it's a colder month, sometimes um, they might feel a little bit more sluggish or more hypothyroid symptoms um, because um, that, that body temperature starts to go down from the outside temperature and you already might be struggling with this. Um, so that's something to consider as well. And brain fog is the last one I want to talk about. This is so common. Again, when you struggle with hypothyroidism, you know exactly what I mean when you're, when you are dealing with brain fog, you literally cannot sometimes form sentences. I remember doing this and it was like, I could not form a word or sentence. Sometimes my brain would just like zap, like it wasn't happening. So these are some of the most common ones, especially that I see in women. Um, if you have questions with this, let me know. Um, I have some guides um, that could help you with this as well. I can leave the links here. Um, and then definitely reach out if you um, have any more questions about this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.